In this episode of Unboxing with a Rocket Scientist, we're going to take a look at the Apogee Kestrel. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist's opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today you'll actually find out the inside information so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components, and yes, I am a real rocket scientist. Uh, today we're going to inspect and unbox the Kestrel rocket kit from Apogee Components and look at it from like an engineering perspective. So uh, as you can see, it's bagged. Uh, it's not in a box, uh, but it is uh, pretty well protected. Um, get this open here. All right, so first thing that we see are the big white tubes, and there's two of them. Ooh, there's one hidden inside. Um, and another one inside. This is kind of like one of those uh, nesting dolls. So these are um, paper tubes, and they're made out of craft paper, and they've got a white outer surface with a glassine layer. Now, glassine is a type of very smooth paper, uh, which makes it easier to glue fins to. Um, and since they're white, you can draw lines down them quite easily with a pencil. And we do recommend a pencil when drawing lines on tubes, because if you use ink, when you go to paint the rocket, what happens a lot of times is the solvents in the paint will dissolve the ink, and then the ink floats to the surface of the paint which kind of ruins the, the surface of the paint. So always use a pencil, and that's why our tubes here are, are white. Um, there's two of them that are 18, or um, BT60 size. Uh, one of them's 18 inches long, and the other one is nine inches long. It's half the length. Um, and then there's the inside tubes, and um, this one here appears to be um, a 29 millimeter, and this is a 24. Um, so let's take a look at why there's a 29 and a 24. Um, this is a, a red tube coupler. This is also craft paper, and this will slide inside the white tubes nicely. Um, and then here we have a nose cone. Um, it's uh, made out of polystyrene, high-impact polystyrene, which is a type of plastic that is easy to paint and easy to glue to if you have to glue to it. Uh, on this particular kit, you won't have to. Um, it has um, really large eyelets here, so that makes it easy to put parachutes and uh, shock cords onto the, to the, uh, the parts, tying, tying them on for flight. Um, I always like to see that, because that just makes it a lot easier to build. All right, so digging in further, there's a lot of little parts in here, which is nice. Okay. Okay, so inside we have the... the color packaging, and this kind of describes the rocket, uh, flies supersonic or bust a mile high with this rocket. Um, it's an experimenter's delight with a spacious payload bay, and that was this tube right here. Um, it has raptor-like appearance with a bird-like swept fins, and we'll see those in a minute. And it has a colorful plastic parachute. Um, it's included a 24 millimeter adapter that allows for dozens of motors. So um, what we're going to see here, if I look at the motors, I can see G engines as well as D engines. So this has a wide variety of motors that you can fly on. A G engine is typically a 29 millimeter diameter. So this will have a 29 millimeter diameter main motor mount, and then this will be for a 24 millimeter adapter. So this doesn't get glued in, but it, it can be used if you want to fly um, smaller motors so that they don't go a mile high, because when they go that high, they're really hard to see. All right, so let's also look in here. Okay, so here is our um, 
fins, you can see they're laser cut and they're popping out of the, the, the fin sheet quite easily, which I like to see. Um, and as I said, it's got a swept fin um, with a uh, cur nice, really curved edge. You don't see that too often in rocketry is fins with curved edges. And then with a laser cutter, that's easy to cut. Um, these are made out of basswood um, and it's um, 3 seconds inch back basswood or three, yeah, 3 32nd inch. Um, now basswood is a little bit heavier than balsa wood, but it's a lot stronger. Um, and when you have these curved fins, uh, particularly that edge down there, when it when the rocket lands, you don't want that getting crushed or dinged like you do also in balsa wood. So having basswood is a nice alternative there. Um, like, but it is a little bit heavier, so that's going to slightly decrease the performance. Just lost my glasses. All right, so inside of here we have our instruction sheet, and it's 10 pages long, if I can see on the back. Um, and inside you can see it's got a lot of illustrations on how to build this rocket, so that's going to make it fairly easy. So it is ranked a skill level three kit. So that's combined about average, um, not too hard, but not not unchallenging. Um, these right here are our centering rings and we'll have the 29 millimeters, so there's three of those, and then one 24 millimeter. Um, probably, eh, I'm not sure what that one is used for, but we could find out in the instructions. Um, there's also some 29 to 24 millimeter um, centering rings. Um, this will probably be for the motor adapter. And there's also a cardboard um, launch lug. And this is one quarter inch diameter. So this is a little bit thicker than a typical launch rod size. Um, because this can fly on those G engines, um, you want something that's very stable as your launch pad, uh, which is why you have the, the uh, quarter inch launch lug there. Uh, we also have a 300 pound Kevlar shock cord. Um, this is stronger than steel and it's um, typically uh, bulletproof vests are made out of Kevlar like this. It's very durable and tough um, which keeps our nose cone attached to the rest of the body. Um, we also have here a um, bulkhead disc, and this one is made out of 1 8 inch plywood. Now, this will probably be for the inside of that coupler right there. Um, yeah, so that's what that's going to be for. That's going to be the bottom of the payload bay. And there's also an engine block, and that will be for the 24 millimeter adapter. And then this hardware right here is the engine retention. So this will be the engine retainer. And then finally, um, in the kit, we have a plastic parachute, and this is a um, 12, 15, 18 inch diameter chute. So what that means is that um, you can cut it to size, to any size between 12 inches and 18 inches. You can see it's, it's really nice and colorful. And then on the perimeter are the cut lines. So if you cut here, it'd be a 12 inch, then here's 15 and here's the 18 inch. And for the kit, I think it's probably gonna use, let me double check in here, what size you're gonna cut that to. Uh, it says to the 15 inch size here. So that's good to know. Um, so you're gonna cut it to a 15 inch parachute. And also in here, we have the shroud lines and the reinforcement rings for the corners of the parachute. These are, are special rings. That, um, normally, plastic parachutes aren't very durable, but if you put these rings on the corners where you attach the parachutes, that makes them almost tear resistant, where you can't tear the string out of the plastic canopy. 
And then for our string, we use a cotton thread. Um, normally, a lot of manufacturers use a polyester thread. Um, this is cotton, and cotton has a higher um, temperature that it can handle. So that's, you know, if you get a lot of heat inside the tube as the parachute is coming out, um, the cotton can withstand that a lot better than polyester. Um, and it's also thicker, so it's stronger than polyester thread, and it's because it's thicker, it's easier to tie knots. So uh, when you're tying the, the shroud line onto the canopies, it's a little bit easier to do that. So uh, that's pretty much all the kit, all the parts in the kit. Um, this is a premium kit. Um, it's it's not your average run-of-the-mill model rocket kit. It's the, the components are really nice. Um, that's, you know, what Apogee is famous for. So this is the Kestrel rocket kit. Um, again, it can go a mile high or it can go supersonic with the right rocket motors. But you don't have to fly it with that much performance. You can step it down a little bit so that it doesn't fly so high or not so fast so you can get uh, a nice recovery of your rocket. You don't want to lose it on the first time. Um, so you'll find this kit here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. So until the next time, thanks for watching.